be back in the treehouse. <laughs> Come back here. Gotcha. Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, why, you little? Ha uh, ha! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Take that! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Stanley, Louisa, did you see that? A rabbit beating that big fox. I saw. So brave. So clever. Take that, he said. I'm hungry, Albert. Can we go home now, please? All right, brother. Let's go. Mice! Where? What ah! you <laughs> Come back here and be grabbed. <laughs> <laughs> Fresh peas, eh? Well... If I can't eat rabbits or mice, I'll just take these. <laughs> Our peas! Our precious peas! What are we going to do? We've got to get them back. I'm too little to go up against a fox. Why don't we get someone bigger to do it? Someone brave and clever. A rabbit! This sounds like trouble. <laughs> 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 well, <laughs> that was a lucky escape. <laughs> I bet Mr. Todd's really angry. <laughs> Brave right. rabbit! I'm Albert Tittlemouse, and this is my sister and brother, Louisa and Stanley. <laughs> Who are you calling Brave? You, Brave Rabbit. Mm. Me? Oh, I'm not really all that brave. But we saw you with that fox. When I fell over and... When you outsmarted him and got away. Outsmarted? Oh, yes, outsmarted him. You are a brave, smart <laughs> hero, Rabbit. <laughs> yeah, I suppose I can handle myself. I bet you could do anything. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Would you help us, Hero Rabbit? Our peas have been stolen. No problem. Of course I'll help you. I'll get your peas back, or my name's not Ben. Uh, Hero Rabbit. Hooray for Hero, Hero Rabbit! Rabbit. <laughs> Hooray for Hero, Hero Rabbit! Rabbit. Oh. <gasps> Don't! What? What do you see? Was it the shrew? No, worse. Marvellous. Tonight I'll be sipping on dandelion tea. <gasps> Mr. Todd, what do we do now? Stay down. That's what. <laughs> and keep very quiet. Gotcha. Ah, 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 do! The question remains what to have for dinner? <gasps> Perhaps I'll treat myself to a little... Rabbit stew! Run! Rabbits, come back here! Straight up! Meet you at Benjamin's Burrow! Benjamin's Burrow, roger that! Benjamin's Burrow, got it! Hey, that's me! Uh-oh, which way do I go? You can run, uh, but you uh, can't hide, little rabbit. Uh, rabbits are brave. Rabbits are brave. Uh. That was close. It sure was. He nearly caught us that time. Hmm. What's taking Benjamin so long? Um, you don't think he's lost, do you? Benjamin? Lost? Nah. <gasps> he knows how to get home, right? Of course he does. Um, I think he does. <laughs> He's lost, isn't he? We'd better find him. Come on, let's hop to it. Maybe I should have gone left, then straight. Or is it straight ahead, then left? Oh, I wish Peter and Lily were here. Oh! Looking for something? The way... Uh, home. If you're looking for somewhere to rest, there's plenty of room in my cooking pot. <gasps> a little salt and pepper, <laughs> and you'll make a lovely casserole. <laughs> hey, Mr. Todd, why don't you pick on someone your own size? 
I could, or I could pick on both of you. Not so fast, greedy chops. Ha! <laughs> well, this is splendid. All three rabbits together. The question is, which one of you shall I eat first? Uh... How about you? Whoa! <laughs> My dandelions! <laughs> ah! One day, I'll find out where you live, and then I'll be dining on rabbits for weeks. I promise you that. No way, Mr. Todd. You'll never find out where we live. That I promise you. Come here. Doing laundry isn't as easy as it looks, is it? Uh. Well, thank you, Mrs. Tiggywinkle. Uh, we goodbye. Really should be going. Oh, always in such a rabbity rush. <laughs> that radish has got to be here somewhere. Look, you can tell by the grass that it landed right here. You know what that means? It was taken by a radish robber. <gasps> Taking somebody else's radishes? Imagine! Huh! <sighs> yeah, imagine. <sighs> there must be somewhere we can eat our radishes in peace. What we need is a tip top idea. Oh! It doesn't get much tip toppier than the squirrel camp. Rabbits are brave. Rabbits are brave. Why don't we see how many kinds of trees we can spot? There's a lot. I know that for a fact. Oh, and a pine. And a another really, really high tree. Please, can we go back down? Peter, I know it's pretty up here, but don't you think eating radishes in trees is, well, a little bit crazy? Ooh, someone say crazy! <laughs> I said it, and I was upside down! <laughs> Thanks for helping us out, Nutkin. Anything for my long-eared friends. Flippity floppity flee, three rabbits in the tree. <laughs> I'm not that hungry anymore. You know the best way to work up an appetite? Hmm? Juggling! <laughs> hey, careful with those! Watch out, Peter! <laughs> Sorry about that, my friend. Once again, my squirrely exuberance got the best of me and caused untold heartache. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> you can open your eyes now, Benjamin. We're on the ground. Uh, uh, I knew that. Um, I was just doing an extra long blink. The radishes are gone. The radish robber must have followed us here too. I say we could hold our breath, dive to the bottom of the river and eat our radishes there. Or I know a perfect spot at Hilltop Farm. We should tie it to a bird and eat it in the sky. Ooh, we should bury it until next summer. Hey, huh? what if we just, you know, eat it right now? Brilliant! Yay, radish time! Oh, my tummy! Someone must have eaten them! Oh, imagine! Have you seen them? Oh, oh, have you? Have you? Oh, oh, whatever has happened to my freshly baked oat cakes? Your oat cakes? What oat cakes, Mrs. Puddle Duck? Only oh. the sweetest, crumbliest, oat cakeiest oat cakes I ever did oh. bake. They must have fallen out of my basket on the way to oh. the river. Oh, someone did eat them. Imagine. Yes, imagine eating someone else's oat cakes. Mr. Todd took them. <gasps> oh! Oh, my! Oh, dearie me! Oh, my! Well, there's only one thing to be done. 
I should have words with that thieving fox right away. Phew! I thought we were in trouble there for sure. Jemima Puddle Duck's the one in trouble. She's heading to Mr. Todd's. And foxes eat ducks. <gasps> yeah, this is bad. Very bad. I didn't think she'd go looking for him. We've got to stop her. I'm going to give that fox a piece of my mind. I say, stop making this infernal hullabaloo. Oh, and what do we have here? I will make a hullabaloo, what's it, Mr Todd? You ate my oatcakes without asking. Oatcakes? Ugh, too plain for me. I'm more of a meat eater. Ah, now it's no use telling fibs, Mr Todd. But my dear Jemima... To have one's precious oatcake stolen must be exceedingly distressing. Oh, it is. Exceedingly. Ellie. So please, let me cook you a brand new batch. It's the very least I can do for such a fair lady. Oh, well, you are a gentleman. And here I was thinking you're a no good Nick. What a silly. <laughs> <gasps> Mr. Todd's lying! He's not going to cook oatcakes, he's going to cook Jemima! <gasps> not if we can help it! Come on! Uh, would you mind terribly putting this orange in your mouth? <gasps> what on earth? Oh, do excuse me for a moment, won't you? Ouch! <gasps> Oops! First a duck, now rabbits. A whole feast right on my doorstep. Psst! This is Puddle Duck. Aha! Ah, stay still, you wriggly little. Ow! C come here! Ow! Oof! Oh, pesky thorns! Oh, my poor back. There must be an easier way to catch a rabbit. Hmm. And there it is. You can run, but you can't hide. Mr. Todd? Where'd he go? Oh, no! Run me with this silly contraption, did you? Foolish rabbits. You're right, Mr. Todd. It is silly, isn't it? In fact, why don't you keep it for yourself? Ah! Oh, back here. It was a little picnic. I'm sorry about your dad's branch breaker, Benjamin. Hmm, that's okay. We can build another one. One that's not so loud next time. Hey, look! I found a branch for my bed. <gasps> uh, oh. Looks like we won't be able to fix your bed. Sorry, Peter. Or maybe we can. 
A good rabbit never gives up. Sleep on thorns. Who'd have thought of it? Only you, Peter Rabbit. Yep. And my dad. That one shows that my dad built it. This one shows that I fixed it. Something? Tommy, Tommy Brock? Brock. Hmm. There's all his stuff and no sign of that grouchy old badger. Excellent. A ramp and just the right size to deal with that rock. Sacks and boots and rock and fruit. Rusty pins and empty tins. <laughs> I love my stuff, I do. Oh no! Now how am I going to get that ramp? Um. Ah! <laughs> hey! Who did that? Show yourself! <laughs> What's that? Peter Rabbit? Huh, he's got an old metal sheet just like mine. <laughs> Hang on. That is mine! Come back here! <laughs> I'm just going to stand here and look amazing! <laughs> He's come back for Nuckin's tail! Quick, hide! <laughs> What's happening? My legs have stopped working! <laughs> no! It's your tail! It's caught! <laughs> I want that tail back! We have to save Nuckin! <laughs> Oh no, Lily! I've forgotten how annoying 
tails are. <laughs> yeah. ah, aha, that's better. Come on, let's go and help Peter get Lily back. But... I know you risked your life to get it and everything, but I'm better off without it. Are you really sure you don't want your tail anymore? Sure? I'm positively positive! Hey! Old Brown! If you want the tail, come and get it! Ah. <laughs> Peter, be careful! Aren't you a little reckless for a rabbit? We'll swap the tail for Lily! Give her back! Well, I'm tempted. Only that will leave me with nothing to uh, live on! Peter! Lily! <laughs> I'm tickled you could join us, Peter! If it's tickling you want, then how about this? <laughs> Stop that! Such a rabbity rush. <laughs> that radish has got to be here somewhere. Look, you can tell by the grass that it landed right here. You know what that means? It was taken by a radish robber. <gasps> Taking somebody else's radishes? Imagine. Huh. <sighs> yeah, imagine. <sighs> there must be somewhere we can eat our radishes in peace. What we need is a tip-top idea. Oh! <laughs> and it doesn't get much tip-toppier than the squirrel camp. Rabbits are brave. Rabbits are brave. Why don't we see how many kinds of trees we can spot? There's a lot. I know that for a fact. Oh! And a pine. And a another really, really high tree. Please, can we go back down? Peter, I know it's pretty up here, but don't you think eating radishes in trees is, well, a little bit crazy? What? Someone say crazy! <laughs> I said it, and I was upside down! <laughs> Thanks for helping us out, Nutkin. Anything for my long-eared friends. Flippity floppity flee three rabbits in the tree. <laughs> I'm not that hungry anymore. You know the best way to work up an appetite? Hmm? Juggling! <laughs> hey, careful with those! Watch out, Peter! <laughs> about that, my friend. Once again, my squirrely exuberance got the best of me and caused untold heartache. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> you can open your eyes now, Benjamin. We're on the ground. Uh, uh, I knew that. Um, I was just doing an extra long blink. The radishes are gone. The radish robber must have followed us here too. I say we could hold our breath, dive to the bottom of the river and eat our radishes there. Or I know a perfect spot at Hilltop Farm. We should tie it to a bird and eat it in the sky. Ooh, 
Oh, we should bury it until next summer. Hey, huh? what if we just, you know, eat it right now? Brilliant! Yay, brownish time! Blue thread. Who do we know who wears blue? Um... Oh, oh, who would want to keep us so busy chasing each other, we wouldn't chase him? Peter, Peter Rabbit. Rabbit. Ah, isn't this a great day, Lily? Not a care in the world. Oh, really? Peter? Uh, Peter? Oh, I do so love a good barbecue. Me too. Oh, I know a really good blackberry bush for dessert. If I can, uh, uh, just show you. Uh, Keep still. Uh, no more tricks today, uh, Peter. Now, how do you like your rabbit, uh, Mr. Brock? Roasted? Uh, fried? I'm more of a worms bloke myself. Uh, worms? Oh, so uncivilized. Maybe you should leave the cooking to me. Just hold on to that wriggling rabbit. He is our main course, after all. <laughs> and you too. I need your help. This is bad. Really, really bad. We've got to help him. Yeah, but remember the food chain, Benjamin. We're far too small to take on those two. We need someone much bigger. Someone like Mr. McGregor. McGregor? How are you going to get McGregor? Come on! But how do we get Mr. McGregor to chase Mr. Todd and Tommy Brock? <gasps> there! Huh? What? What do we want his boots for? No, Mr. Brock, we shall not chuck a few worms in to spice it up. You haven't even tried one. Come on, you two, hurry. No, no worms. No worms, no deal. Hey, 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 hey. I've got an idea. Why don't we all go home, sleep on it, and then we can cook me tomorrow. Agreed? Agreed. Oh, agreed. What? Oh, think I'm dumb, do you, rabbit? Uh, well... Dinner time. You don't really want to eat me, do you? Young rabbits ha. are very cheery, you know. Oh. 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 What's that? Uh, uh, I'd know that sound anywhere. It's... <gasps> Mr. McGregor! Run! Don't believe it. Is this another one of your tricks, eh? If there's one thing I hate more than rabbits, it's smelly badgers like you. Ah! <laughs> oh! <laughs> 